All right, folks, we're going to take a look at uh, least common multiple today and how to solve problems and finding the least common multiple for two or more numbers. So, the first thing we need to do is review a few definitions here. So, what is a multiple? Well, a multiple is any whole number times another whole number. Whatever the answer, the product of that is, will be a multiple. So, um, I'll give you an example. Multiples of 6. I have 6 times 1 equals 6. 6 times 2 equals 12. 6 times 3, 18, and the list goes on. Those are all multiples. We took a whole number, 6, and multiplied it by another whole number, non-zero, um, like 1, 2, 3, 4, and those give us multiples. What is a common multiple? A common multiple is when two numbers have a multiple that's in common. So if I use the number 2, I can take 2 times 1 equals 2, 2 times 2 equals 4, 2 times 3 equals 6. Well, here we have a common number. 6 is a common multiple for 2 and the number 6. Alright, that is a common multiple. To find the least of the common multiples, we want the one that is uh, the lowest amount. So, let's take a look at a different example here. Right here, method one for finding least common multiple. Make a list. So I'm going to list all the multiples. For nine, I'll start out. Nine times one is nine. That's one multiple. 9 times 2, 18. 9 times 3, 27. 9 times 4, 36. 9 times 5, 45. I could, I could keep listing them, but I'm going to stop right here. Okay, and I'm going to list the common mul or the multiples of 4. So 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. 32, 36, 40. I just listed the first 10 multiples for 4. Hopefully we can find one that they have in common. For 9 and 4, we can clearly see that uh, these aren't in common. There isn't a 9 down here or an 18. 27 isn't down here, but 36. This is a common multiple, and it is the lowest of our common multiples. So, 36 is the LCM, or least common multiple, using the list method. Well, hope this helped you out. See ya!